So, one of my kind minders shared a brilliant article with me, which I'd like to share with you. And I've got it here. Um, the Need for a Modern Monastery. And it's written by the School of Life. Dot com and they are just wonderful and amazing anyway it's a really interesting article um, um, but I it really got me thinking about how we practice self-compassion how we live the rest of our lives um, the rest of the moments after morning practice or whatever time of day it is so they've compared the ancient monasteric life, monastic living, uh, with how it might help us in modern life. So a big shout out to lovely Lucy for uh, sharing this with me this morning and our morning meditation group. So some fundamentals about the environment in which we're living, about living in community, about the building and the design of the building so that it supports our practice about how we come together um, in gatherings like our beautiful circle today and offering time for reflection routines and letting go of the status race and good habits there's lots there Anyway. anyway, really got me thinking about our practice. So, when I first started teaching meditation a long time ago when my children were little, um, sometimes my dad would look after my boys for a few hours while I gave the class. I would rush in. I would deliver the children with their little rucksacks and their games and their food and little pack lunches. I'd rush off, give practice in this beautiful space. Then I'd rush back and sweep up the boys and off I'd go again. And my dad paid reference to this, made a little judgmental comment about it. And it's come up again whilst considering my monastic life now. And all I want to perhaps invite you to consider is, are you doing that too? So as soon as you say, oh, I have my lovely Zen moment, I sit in my heart, I rest, I open, I expand, and then I forget my compassionate life and, or my self-compassionate practice, and I rush off and get busy and frantic. Now, I think there's a real middle ground uh, from this article. Um, I mean, they set out a real timetable. Uh, which has no place for actually earning a living, which I think is a bit challenging. Um, but I invite you today to consider as we practice, mm, I wonder what part of my practice would I like to continue during my, what I call Play-Doh life, in the busyness, in the activity, in the rushing, in the supermarket queue, in the emailing, in all of the stuff we have to do, how can we still thread our practice through this? Because um, John Kabat-Zinn reminded us the other day, well, all the systems in our body don't stop. They don't say, hang on, I'm just going to take a break now. <laughs> and the heart says, look, you take over lungs. I'm going to just have a rest because I'm exhausted this week. The kidneys don't say, look, can you hang on? Uh, we'll, we'll let the liver do some extra work while I'm taking a break. Similarly, what's happening with our practice? Theoretically, our intention is always there. We know self-compassion is an intentional practice. So can we intend, I'm not talking about perfection here, but have the intention, can I thread a little bit more loving kindness, 
calmness, joy, peace, love. And as Thich Nhat Hanh talks about, peace is every step. So this is what we're going to reflect and consider today. And it's not to say that this is not an invitation for your inner crusher, a critical voice to say, oh gosh, I'm terrible. I just sit and practice and then I forget my practice. No, no, we're not going to do that. We're just opening another door for possibilities to bring more practice more kindness into our every day. All right, gorgeous ones. Let's close our eyes. Let's enjoy this moment together. You may like to take some deepening breaths. You may like to hold your own hand as a gesture of friendship. You may like to offer a warm smile internally and externally toward yourself. Simply giving yourself whatever you need to begin settling. We all live much more frenetic life than people did a hundred years ago and that's okay we don't need to make that wrong or bad but let's help our nervous systems our mind and heart our whole body settle for a little while Recharge, refuel, replenish, nourish. Simply by pausing and enjoying a U turn so that all your energies, all your giving, your kindness that you offer others and gently come inside. You may like to ponder and pay attention to that gentle rhythm that is your breathing. working tirelessly for you, this life-giving breath. All day, every day, when you're awake and when you're asleep.
and gently sending appreciation to this choice to soften. And as we allow ourselves to gently slow down, press pause, you may notice other parts of your body calling for your attention. that's all right. Simply love them, bless them, give them everything you possibly can that they want. And with this gentle pausing, noticing a softening now. Releasing any holding or tension. and allowing an effortless expansion. Just as your lungs expand and contract, Allow the sensation of ease and your loving intention to offer the opportunity to soften and expand. And you may notice there are perhaps words moving through this expansive presence. Maybe a reminder that you've been going too fast. Or perhaps you may like to 
slow down for a while. And perhaps noticing in this expansive presence that just like every system in your body, there is a limitless, effortless flow of love and kindness, compassion and strength available to you. If we simply remember to tap into it. And so with another intentional breath, breathe in what you need. Simply receiving your own warmth. Simply cherishing the moment.
Noticing what nourishes you. A loving kind word or phrase. I love you. And I want you to be happy and peaceful. Or maybe that simple gesture of holding your own hand in deep, profound friendship with yourself. Maybe simply enjoying the effortless simplicity of sitting. Noticing sounds, sensations, maybe thoughts and feelings moving through this being human. I wonder if we can make peace with every step we take. Peace is every step. The shining red sun is my heart. Each flower smiles with me. How green, how fresh all that grows. How cool the wind blows. Peace is every step. It turns the endless path 
to your joy. Now as we continue to rest in this moment, know in your heart that you are on the path of joy. No matter how painful or difficult, challenging things have been in this moment, let yourself rest. Hold your own hand. and receive the love that is always available from the depths of your own heart. And as we begin to bring our and uh, loving kind practice to a close, you may like to consider once again, hmm, how might I bring this serenity, this sense of calm, this nourishment into my entire day. How might I like to gently spread peace into the earth as I manoeuvre and navigate through this life. I wonder what practices may be beneficial for you. Weaved gently and lovingly throughout your day. 
and shall I. And so when you're ready, gently releasing this beautiful practice, having a gentle stretch, a big yawn, and a wiggle, softly opening your eyes and cherishing as we return this beautiful, kind space of love and appreciation. Thank you.